Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder over here. You can see that game exe file. Make a double click on the game exe file and then launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time, Put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, then select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, click on allow it, allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed over here so open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case, uh, the game is already added. So once uh, the game is added over here, so once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked you can be set it to default and if you have any overclocking application like msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it and then you can launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option for this make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dash dx12 and then check still not working and then follow the next step you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step next step is to rename or delete the save game files when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first so if you agree you can just go to um, file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items over here and then open app data, open the local folder. Over here you can see the game folder, make a right click and then create a backup. So copy this folder and maybe paste to the de desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename this folder. Now once you rename it, now you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch you will lose all the game progress now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. 
and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game over here over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here select high performance then launch the game still not working next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows update and then settings and then windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the file click on it click on the exe file run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file and then run this exe file as well now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected which you're not using disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor also disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay volume game and then check if you have any other overlay application like running like if you have discord running go to discord settings and turn off overlay now if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay so close all the overlay application and then launch the game if you have any third party software or any application running you can close it and then check if you have undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 
1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now still not working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try to install the game to another ssd and then check do not ignore this step and once you reinstall the game now you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel